Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Okay, so it seems like the world is going on fire. There's a lot of weird happenings right now. It is April 25th, 2024, so anything can really happen. Yeah, these, these are not definitely not good things, and they feel like they're uh, planted things, deliberate things, things to cause chaos and confusion. So as we see here, massive fire destroying historic Oceanside Pier in California. Uh, again, you know, this is just one of so many fires we've seen in so many different places. Uh, evacuations were obviously in order. And this is just a historic, beautiful pier here in Oceanside in California. Now, this is weird. Uh, this looks kind of like a nuclear cloud off the coast of New Smyrna Beach in Florida. So this is Atlantic side. Uh, very familiar with this beach. It used to be one of my favorite places to go when I was living more towards the east side of, of Florida. Now, you might have some sort of strange explanation from a meteorologist, you know, but then at the same time, now we got meteorologists finally saying weather wars are going to sweep people away. They are sweeping people away. You know, many people are talking about this. And so I, I saved uh, this right here. Uh, the search itself so you can see uh, more than one person is talking about this not only that locals have claimed they heard a massive explosion big huge boom and then they see this cloud uh, off the coast off the coast of Florida again New Smyrna is uh, basically south of Jacksonville before you get to Melbourne so south of St. Augustine um, not a very heavily populated area, not heavily populated like going down uh, into Miami uh, in that area. But at the same time, this is not far from where we saw those strange 3.9 earthquakes that turned out to be, or at least the official explanation was, that they were doing hull tests on new Navy ships. So they were literally exploding bombs not far from here, very close, in fact, to, to this area, just off the Florida coast, that was producing 3.9 earthquakes on three separate occasions. I don't buy it a bit. I don't buy it a bit, especially when, if, if they do use tsunami bombs, which is what I think that they are going to... Uh, basically plan to use in initiating the attacks on the U.S., this would be one of the locations I would truly expect it. And I do think they would do something over on the West. And, hey, you know, coincidentally, at this point in time in San Diego or in Oceanside, you have that pier on fire. So what the heck happened here? Uh, you know, it's curious. It's very, very curious to say the least and i asked cindy what what did you pick up you know it, it does feel like a little bit weird a little bit military a little bit of a mistake a little bit on purpose it feels kind of confused it feels like it could be marking something it could be some type of communication like x put x here or something so it's weird yeah and you know that would make perfect sense to me because i think we've seen again uh, strange little quakes off the coast of um, Maryland, Delaware, uh, up in the greater Virginia area as well. To me, it, it marked an area that they might want to utilize uh, as Russia's come out. And there's been many articles, and we've covered it m many, many times, talking about uh, the Russian Navy's tsunami bombs. And Literally, I mean, they, they threatened to wash away part of the UK. Um, and, you know, it's interesting that Alois Ermiler did uh, have in his prophecies of, of World War III, he saw just that. He saw what would be exactly how you would describe a tsunami bomb. Uh, it, it, a great wave of water is created by an explosion and it inundates the co coastlines. So is this something that's kind of like marking a location? Okay, you know, like this is the area you want to put your sub at, uh, something like that, or maybe just, you know, north of here. 
We'll see. We'll see. Again, one thing we did share with you guys is, you know, I wanted to go move closer to the coast and the guide said, no, stay um, away from the coast at this point in time. Breaking, rushing. Russia is preparing to seize U.S. assets. They have the right to confiscate all Western assets in Russia worth more than $288 billion, so says Russian Parliament Speaker. You know, there's been so many sanctions on Russia by the West, and all it's done is just basically act to devaluate the dollar, uh, strengthen BRICS, and bring about uh, an acceleration to the demise of uh, the United States Republic as, the Ro as its version of the Roman Empire, which is all exactly what's been planned. Here in Ireland, you see protesters set fire to a migrant camp. This is not the first time. Um, and, you know, they're, they're just ticked because, again, uh, people that are citizens are not getting services and help and what's happening is people that are non-citizens are and this is part of a un united nations program actually tedros you know tedros we all know tedros he's been tweeting the heck out of uh twitter all day long trying to again i guess they're trying to mend fences you know uh, the wef's program was to let's build back trust Sorry, guys, you lost it for good. You lost it for good. And, you know, the world is waking up. This is why they will pull off a WW3 and probably end up releasing uh, many other type of agents of a biological uh, kind. This is weird, too. This feels like an MK Ultra. Secret Service agent assigned to Kamala Harris hospitalized after exhibiting distressing behavior, including spouting gibberish, speaking incoherently. Well, that's the same thing, isn't it? And physically provoking another officer. I don't know. Maybe he saw Kamala's neck go out like 10 feet. and Maybe she actually turned a little lizardish and it freaked him out. Well, I know. I mean, there's probably absolutely nothing wrong with the guy. I think anybody would react freaky if they saw that neck thing that she does right there, you know, exact and then, same thing the Pfizer guy does. yeah. And, and then if you, you know, if you think about it, these beings that are reptilian, you know, if, if it was, maybe he has an incompatible nature to reptilian energy and he just didn't handle it well. So maybe that's it. Yeah, maybe. It, it, that's one possibility. Here you see um, protests getting um, a little bit more ugly, uh, and you have New York Police Department Assistant Chief James McCarthy, a few other officers chased by protesters after making an arrest at NYU last night. And they chased him all around the block, and he was trying to escape to get into uh, locked doors, couldn't get in, felt frustrated. You could tell he's nervous. He's worried about uh, people striking out a little bit more. They haven't yet, um, but you know it's coming. You just know it's it's coming. It's getting more and more violent out there. This is in Manhattan as different groups of, of migrants like just trying to hurt each other out there in the middle of the street pipes and whatever else it, it, this is why we had said you're better off not in the cities if you could avoid it uh you know again take it seriously because it's going to get pretty chaotic and here you have texas cops threw a fox 7 news journalist to the ground arrested him at a anti-israel uh, protest and uh it's just it's all getting a little bit more um, tense out there, to say the least. And so our recommendations have been uh, try to get yourself out of the way of what's coming be because what's coming is ugly and it's manufactured. And, uh, you know, it's also in some ways, shapes and forms, it's being triggered by frequencies. And, and I know that m most of these people at these events don't have a handle on that. It, it sometimes could be hard to, to realize you're not thinking clear when you're under the sway of these frequencies. Um, 
again, one of our dear family members has m recently moved very close to us and is now out in the deep countryside, surrounded by trees and not much else, and no longer in uh, the, the concrete jungle with those FIVEG towers all around. And now is like, wow, you know, <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> I feel really good. I realize now that I'm out of it, like, wow, uh, you know, I'm doing really well. Yeah, because these these energies are assaulting you every single day. I don't know, you know, it, people that are awakened and have activated light bodies, again, have functioning pineal glands, you're not going to be able to stand being in the presence of, of these energies you're just not going to be able to handle it you're, you're going to be feeling sick your, your body's not going to be able to handle it you're not going to be able to handle it energetically and emotionally it, it does get really tough you know because some people don't have a choice they can't get out of the situation and know their bodies are not handling it well but you, you do learn to do things like you learn about the the certain cloth that has the ability to deflect the 5g energies you learn um, different tricks to wrap yourself to protect yourself energetically and then you know you you hang out with a very select people who completely understand you so you can operate and and talk the way you want to without being scrutinized or stared at or or things of that nature but yeah it's definitely a tough time right now for those who came here to awaken others and for those who came here to express their star seatedness it's not easy no and you know here we are yes we we've, we've been out in the country and we've been out in the desert and i saw one comment saying something like well you wouldn't understand you don't live in a city or anything i i grew up uh, 23 exits from New York City. So, yeah, I spent 42 years, you know, in, in energies that were ultimately completely intolerable to me, and I had to get the bleep out of there. I would not be able, I wouldn't have made it. I don't think I'd be alive right now if I stayed in that, in, in uh, Connecticut, in the area where I was, because the frequencies just were not, and this is back 20 years ago, you know, the frequencies just were not in sync with what was happening to me consciously. So here we see, uh, this is Dutch talking about the wave anomaly and into thin air channel um, because it was showing again up. Uh, I was looking at it, it was small. Um, but, you know, a, another little anomaly, another little blob over here again and i know this there's a connection here between this anomaly and the coming great quakes there's some sort of connection it's a technology that's what i'm picking up too it's, it's a technology it's something it, it's you know in the bottom of the ocean it's not anything that's very easily easily understood or the energy isn't easily picked up and and translated but it feels like it's it has a purpose it's doing something and it's not a good something no and you know we had those horses running um riderless through london and this question is, why are the horses of England's Royal Cavalry so agitated and trying to escape? Maybe they just don't like being rode by lizards. I tell you what, horses are so sensitive. I mean, they're so extremely sensitive and they're therapeutic as well. And horses can feel if, if a human is way off because it's going to interrupt their, their heart chakra. So their heart chakra is very, very powerful. And... You know, one of these days, uh, if, if I ever get to be somewhere where horses can help treat humans with PTSD, because if you do have this trauma, PTSD, and you're very jumpy and you're just not well, and you put yourself close to a horse that is very calm, that rhythmic heartbeat will start to sync up with your heartbeat and you will physically calm down. I think it's just such an amazing thing. These creatures were sent here, you know, as angels to help us. And I, I think we could all definitely do do better by them. 
And here you see King Charles is really very unwell. Funeral plans are being updated according to the New York Post as another uh, another Draco reptilian pawn. Looks like it might be leaving this density. But see, this is the thing where we were leaving the Kali Yuga. So the darkness is going to get weaker and the light's going to get stronger. So... You know they're having a hard time holding their form is 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 the reality and and you know we we've seen one after another after another there was another um a couple posts that were just showing how some of the celebrities are like just falling oh, they're just going the pot they look horrible and what's happening to them well again they've sold their soul to the to the real devil you know the uh, draco reptilian uh, influence on the planet and while the sun is going to bring miracles to to those that stay organic it, it's definitely uh bringing very high frequencies which are disruptive to them and this is also why they want to spray stuff up in the sky constantly they they can't take their vampires they're like vampires this is where that vampire legend or at least a portion of it is based on it's based on uh those that we call again the anunnaki and the ujiji the controllers that can't handle it they just can't handle it and we have over a hundred long fin pilot whales beach on the western australian coast thursday this is probably again some sort of military or weather control uh technology that does this it is. It's a, it's another wave of energy that they simply could not tolerate, and this is so sad, and, and they're testing it on marine animals. I mean, it's already been tested on people uh, up, up on, the, on, the, on the ground, and now they're doing it in water, and these poor animals, they don't know really what's hitting them. Of course they wouldn't know, but they know it sure hurts. I would expect that we'll see activity of a volcanic nature in the Pacific Northwest in the not too distant future. If the timeline is still on that the guides had given us back in December of um, 2022. And I think it's going to coincide with some sort of um, inundation flooding event on the East Coast. So, you know, the vol volcanic activity, the great quakes. Right now, you're seeing 41 of 268 earthquakes in this area. It's interesting to look at it, and it's interesting to look at the patterns, uh, too, you know, that are ongoing as we're looking and wondering, you know, when is the bigger activity coming as there's a bird right in the window singing to us. It's yeah. so nice. Wow. If we look at the seven days, you could start to see it, and then if we go to 30 days, you know, you could see the energy flow through here. Um, there is a plume that, that runs like this up to it. The plume that feeds Yellowstone kind of comes through the Baja area and then swoops along w the way that these quakes are going up towards Yellowstone and into Yellowstone. I think, uh, I think we're not too far away from some significant uh, activity. And so when we look at this, this Western U.S., that's 5,226 of 9946 earthquakes in the map area in the last 30 days. So a large portion, more than half of what the USGS is showing because they do not always show everything. But when you feel into this, what do you feel? You know, it feels ir ir irritated, so that's that's the best feeling I can get. I think what people can do to help is ground. I feel that all of these areas are being tapped and they're being slightly irritated, and it's going to be a buildup until, you know, something happens. It, it just seems like it's very, very low, very slow. Um, don't know how long it's going to take, but it feels like they're just pushing energy into the earth until it becomes intolerable until something rather large shifts and not in a positive way. Yeah, and when did you ever think you would see 137 quakes in New Jersey in a 30-day period? That's weird. That's just weird, but we are in unusual times. And this is what I was talking about. Meteorologists warns of weather wars between countries after the Dubai floods were blamed on cloud seeding. 
Yeah, absolutely. You know, there are weather wars, there are earthquake machines, they could trigger all these things. You know, this is the big reveal. Everything that is attributed to God in the Old Testament is really technology and what some people don't want to face, the extraterrestrial uh, aspect of it. You know, time to get a good massage. This little guy seems to have it down. Yes, and he's like sniffing the spot and then doing what he needs to. And he's he's just very good, very intuitive. And he knows right where to do that. Yeah, he's sniffing for stagnant energy and now getting a little bit of a release. Yes. Watch out, bombs away, guys. As always, be prepared. We look forward to your comments. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.